Hello my dear friends, today we are going to discuss very important poet of America that is Robert Frost and uh, he has given lots and lots of important awards to us okay and uh, today we are going to discuss about him because he is extremely crucial and without him we cannot think of preparing for our examination so let's begin today wholeheartedly uh, with the MCQs of Robert Frost. It is day 5 and uh, earlier month 1 entire MCQs you will get in our channel and uh, today I am going to take a 5th MCQs altogether 35 videos you will find. Please go through all. Let's begin friends. Question number one. What was the name of Frost's wife? Option A. Miriam White. Option B. Isabel Moody. Option C. Eleanor White. And option D. Irma Frost. Let's see the answer. It is option C. Eleanor White. Friends, you must have been confused while reading the options. Okay, but whenever we consider the answer, we have to see first name. Okay. See, this answer is already there in your option. Okay, so you are not going to write that. You have to see this one, Eleanor. Frost was an American poet. He was born on 26th March 1874 in San Francisco, California, United States. And his wife was Eleanor Miriam White. He died on January 29th, 1963 at the age of 88 in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. So here option C is correct. That is Eleanor White. Eleanor Miriam White is her full name. Okay. Question number two. Very important one. Stopping by woods on a snowy evening is written in what meter? Here your answer is option A. Iambic tetrameter, iambic pentameter, varied meter and gas meter. Here your correct answer is iambic tetrameter. Here in the poetry we find extreme imagery, personification, reputation. Okay, it was written in June 1922 at his house in Shaftbury, Vermont. Here we find iambic tetrameter and rhyme scheme AABA, BBCB, CCDD and DDDD. Publication date is 1923. The text of the poem describes the thoughts of a lone wagon driver, the narrator, pausing at night in his travel to watch snow falling in the woods. In end, with him reminding himself that despite the loneliness of the view, sorry, loveliness of the view, I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Let's move to the next question. From which poem is the following line extracted? Earth's the right place for love. Let's see the highlight uh, the options. Option A is mowing. Option B, birches. Option C, the earth and other places for love. And option D, desert places. Here your answer is correct and that is birches. Okay. In birches we find those lines. Let's see the highlighters. Birches is a poem by American poet Robert Frost. It was included in Frost's third collection of poetry, Mountain Interval, Interval which was published in 1916, consisting of 59 lines. It is one of Robert Frost's most anthologized poems. Frost's writing of this poem was inspired by another similar poem, Swinging on a Birch Tree by American poet Lucy Larcom and his own experience of swinging birch trees at his childhood. Let's move to the next question. Question number four. What is the rhyme scheme of after apple picking? Option A. A, B, A, B, B, C, B, C, C, D, C, D, etc. Option B. A, B, B, A, C, D, D, C, D, E, E, D, etc. Or Option C, A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, 
सी डी डी सी एक्सेट्रा और इट हैज नो फिक्स राइम स्कीम सो ह्योर इट डज नॉट हैव एनी फिक्स राइम स्कीम लेट्स द हाईलाइटर्स आफ्टर एप्पल पिकिंग इज अ पोम बाय अमेरिकन पोएट रॉबर्ट फ्रस्ट इट वॉज पब्लिश इन नॉर्थ बॉस्टन इट वॉज पब्लिश इन नॉर्थ ऑफ बॉस्टन फ्रस्ट सेकेंड पोएट्री कलेक्शन द पोम डज नॉट कन्फर्म स्ट्रिक्टली टू अ पर्टिकुलर फॉर्म दो इट इज लूजली आई एम बिग पेंटामीटर द पोम डिस्क्राइब्स अ पेस्टोरल सीन ऑफ न्यू इंग्लैंड लाइफ इन ऑटम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ फ्रस्ट अर्ली वर्क इट हैज फोर्टी टू लाइन्स लेट्स सी द हाईलाइटर्स After Apple Picking is a poem by American poet Robert Frost. It was published in North of Boston. Frost's second poetry collection. The poem does not conform strictly to a particular form, though it is loosely iambic pentameter. The poem describes a pastoral scene of New England life in autumn. characteristic of frost's early work it has 42 lines let's move to question number 5 three foggy mornings and one rainy day will rot the best birch fence a man can build from which poem is this line extracted option a mending wall option b home burial option c birches and option d the tuft of flowers so here your correct answer is option b home burial these lines are taken from home burial poetry let's see the highlighters home burial is one of frost's most overtly sad poems there are at least two tragedies here the death of a child which antecedes the poem and the collapse of a marriage which the poem foreshadows question number 6 the tuft of flowers is written in option a heroic couplet option b fantastic doublets option c courageous triplets and option d intrepid septets Here your correct answer is heroic couplet. A heroic couplet is a traditional form of English poetry commonly used in epic and narrative poetry consisting of a rhymic pair of lines in iambic pentameter. Use of the heroic couplet was pioneered by George sorry uh, Geoffrey Chaucer in the legend of good women and the canterbury tales and generally considered to have been preferred sorry perfected by john dryden and alexander pope in the restoration age and early 18th century respectively question number 7 which of frost's poem is included in s e hilton's novel the outsiders correct let's see the options option a fire and ice option b nothing gold can stay option c home burial option d after apple picking your correct answer is nothing gold can stay let's see the highlighters nothing gold can stay is a short poem by robert frost written in 1923 it was published in the yale review in october of the year it was later published in the collection of new hampshire which earned frost the 1924 pulitzer prize for poetry let's move ahead eight how many pulitzer prizes did frost won option a 1 option b 2 option c 4 and option d 0 here correct answer is option c 4 Let's see the highlighters. Frost was honored frequently during his lifetime and is the only poet to receive four Pulitzer prizes for poetry. In 1924, he won the first 
of four Pulitzer Prizes for the book New Hampshire, a poem with notes and grace notes. He would additional Pulitzers for collected poems in 1931, a further range in 1937 and a witness tree in 1943. Frost was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature 31 times. He was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal in 1960 for his poetic works. On July 22, 1961, Frost was named Poet Laureate of Vermont. Question number 9. Which poet defended Frost against charges of being too traditional and out of touch? Option A. Randall Jarrell. Option B. Sylvia Plath. Option C. T. S. Eliot. Option D. Wallace Stevens. Your correct answer is option B. Sylvia Plath. Sylvia Plath defended Frost against charges of being too traditional and out of touch. Sylvia Plath was an American poet, novelist and short story writer. She was born on 27th October 1932 in Jamaica Plain, Boston, Massachusetts, United States. She died on 11th February 1963 at Primrose Hill, London, United Kingdom. She died very early because of depression, it's said. Okay. Question number 10. Which book won Robert Frost his first Pulitzer Prize? Option A. Mountain Interval. Interval. Option B. New Hampshire. Option C. A Further Range. Option D, a witness tree. So here your correct answer is option A, sorry, option B, that is New Hampshire. Let's see the highlighters. New Hampshire is a 1923 volume of poems written by Robert Frost, which won the 1924 Pulitzer Prize for Poetry. The book included several of Frost's most well-known poems, including stopping by the woods on a snowy evening. Nothing gold can stay and fire and ice. Question number seven, question number 11. When was Robert Frost born? Option A, 26 March 1874. Option B, 14th May 1878. Option C, 9th August 1872. Option D, 9th December 1870. Here your correct answer is option A, 26 March 1874. You can remember by this uh, key hook, all the words are even number. Okay. All the numbers are even. Robert Frost was an American poet. He was born on 26th. March 1874 in San Francisco, California, United States and his uh, wife was Eleanor Miriam White. She, oh, sorry, he died on January 29th, 1963 at the age of 88 in Boston, Massachusetts, United States. Question number 11. When was North of Boston published? Option A, 1908. Option B, 1906. Option C, 1914. And option D, 1912. So here, correct answer goes with 1914. North of Boston is a collection of 17 poems by Robert Frost. First published in 1914 by David Nutt. It includes two of his most famous poems, Mending Wall and After Apple Picking. Which poem did Robert Frost recite at the presidential inauguration of John F. Kennedy? 
here j should be capital okay there is mistyping so please ignore that so the poetry that uh, robert frost recited in the presidential inauguration of john f kennedy was your options are option a the gift outright option b cup of gold option c the pearl option d burning bright here your correct answer is option a the gift outright okay the gift outright is very important because this is the poetry which robert frost recited at the presidential inauguration of john f kennedy american president let's see the highlighters the gift outright is a patriotic poem the poem was composed in 1936 it was published in 1941 a few months later the united states entered world war 2 the poem had already achieved a level of familiarity and recognition among the people but it received special attention when po when frost recited it at the inauguration of president john f kennedy on january 20th 1961 let's move to question number 14 in 1961 robert frost was made option a poet laureate of new england option b poet laureate of new york option c poet laureate of vermont option d poet laureate of california so here your correct answer is option c poet laureate of vermont let's see the highlighter for this answer frost was nominated for the nobel prize in 1900 sorry in literature 31 times he was inaugurated the congressional gold medal in 1960 for his patriotic for his poetic works on july 22 1961 poet frost was named poet laureate of vermont frost's poem birches is inspired from option a tintern abbey by william wordsworth option b la belle dame sans mercy by john keats option c swinging on a birch tree by lucy larcom option d milton's paradise lost so here your correct answer is option c that is swinging on a birch tree by lucy larcom let's see the highlighters frost's writing of this poem was inspired by another similar poem swinging on a birch tree by american poet lucy larcom Let's move to question number 16. In what poetic form is Borges written in? Option A blank verse, option B heroic couplet, option C sonnet, option D there is no strict poetic form in the poem. Here blank verse is correct answer. In blank verse we don't find any rhymic scheme. Okay? It is written as in a conversational manner heroic couplet will have two sentences okay two lines rather two lines of equal length all right in sonnet you will have 14 lines okay in different ways it can be divided okay there are three kinds of sonnets okay shakespearean petarchian and then spenserian all right so out of these three it can be one it is there in the option but this is not correct okay this is also not correct but the first one is right blank verse is any verse composed of unrhymed lines all the same meter usually iambic pentameter it was developed in italy in home burial what is the name what is the mother's name option a sabrina option b amy option c winifred and option d paris hilton here your correct answer is option b amy in home burial burial mother's name is amy let's move to the highlighters 
in home burial frost using the characters in the story as vehicle to play out the hard times he himself encounter encounters when his childhood died amy appears to be suffering from extreme grief due to the loss of her first born child amy is not suffering only from grief but also from major depression the five stages of grief are denial isolation anger bargaining depression and acceptance question number 18 in what poem is a little boy dehanded by a roar chainsaw option a the wood pile option b a boundless moment option c out out and option d design so here your correct answer is out out in poem out out is a little boy de handed by a roaring chainsaw out out is a single stanza poem authored by american poet robert frost relating the accidental death of young boy with reference to shakespeare's macbeth the poem was written in memory of 16 year old raymond tracy fisherald whom frost had befriended while living in franconia new hampshire the poem was first published in july 1916 issue of mc clear clears before being included in collection mountain interval friends by this we have completed robert frost's essential contribution towards literature and uh, we will move towards another writer in our another video till then you please revise whatever i have taught you till now i wish you all all the very best genuinely from my bottom of my heart i wish success for all the hard workers thank you everyone for being with me we will meet in our next video take care bye bye